welcome again to the FD Hacks by Rohit. So I am going to show you a cool feature of uh, Yashkawa GA700 which is a new VFD in market by Yashkawa. Uh, not so new apparently now, it's been here in India for approximately 2-3 years and we have been using GA700 in a lot of applications. So GA700 has this cool feature that we can take backup or upload backup or even change parameters even without power supply to the VFD. You can uh, check in the VFD, there is no display and uh, although we have connected the uh, power supply cables but I will show you that there is uh, no supply in the at the input of the VFD. Uh, you can check that, I will I'll show you by multimeter. You can check there is no voltage, uh, even in multimeter you can see. We have not connected any input supply. It is 0.1, so there is no voltage at the input of the VFD. That is, your VFD is not connected to any power supply and I have used a simple mini USB cable. I will show you the cable type here. So GA700 has this uh, programming cable which, which we can use. It is your simple mini USB cable uh, which were your charging cable in your previous old generation phones and you can directly connect it to the VFD and here I am. So yeah, this is connected to VFD and uh, the other side is your simple USB. You connect your USB to the to your laptop and we have this software named Drive Wizard Industrial. So you simply click the Drive Wizard Industrial software here and uh, this will take you to Yashkawa's Drive Wizard software and you can see your VFD is still not powered up. Uh, VFD is in off state only and we will wait uh, till our uh, laptop, uh, our, our software opens up but uh, this is an important feature at times uh, your VFDs are in lab or you don't have, we don't have the uh, power supply available with us but we need to upload or uh, download the program in the VFD. So I will show you, we can simply, this is our software, you can simply go to drive selection communication, you can directly connect to the VFD, you can simply select connect to drive and go online. So it will start reading, it has started uh, reading the parameterization and everything from the VFD and your VFD is still not having the power supply, we will show you both uh, from the, uh, yeah, you can see both the things that your VFD is still not having any power supply and uh, the software has started uh, reading the values. Now it is going to ask me what I want to do, so I want to read all the parameters that are there in the VFD and uh, so it is showing me the model of the VFD and everything, all the details and you can see like it has started reading the parameters and parameter reading is going on and so yeah now we are here we are online we are connected to VFD we can see all the parameters that are there and we'll go directly to modified parameters these are the parameters that are modified in the VFD and we can simply select and uh, change any parameter so if you want to change the reference we can change it from 50 to 40 and we can directly write it to the VFD so that's how it's very simple even even in uh, without the power supply we can connect the drive to your laptop and uh, we can power it up thank you so much guys please follow and subscribe for more such cool hacks for your vfds thank you so much